Hi everyone. Second bit of the day. I was just about ready to head out and this caught my eye. So, um, I don't know what the heck to do anymore. This is something that should catch your attention and make you very uncomfortable. Link included from Bloomberg Business Week. A gentleman whose name I cannot pronounce that is processing an export enterprise in Vietnam. A seafood exporter on Vietnam's southern coast. Workers stand on a dirty floor sorting shrimp one hot September day. There's trash on the floor and flies crawl over baskets of processed shrimp stacked in an unchilled room. Elsewhere, another gentleman packs shrimp headed for the U.S. in dirty plastic tubs. He covers them in ice made with tap water that the Vietnamese health ministry says should be boiled before drinking because of the risk of contamination with bacteria. Vietnam ships 100 million pounds of shrimp a year to the U.S. That's almost 8% of the shrimp Americans eat. Using ice made from tap water in Vietnam is dangerous because it can spread the bacteria to the shrimp says a microbiologist. Those conditions, ice made from dirty water, animals near the farms, pigs are unacceptable. I agree. Um, and this guy is Sam, Sam Ab, Samadpur, who is a, he specializes in testing water for shellfish farming. And the, the shrimp is farmed in Vietnam. I've seen it in the grocery stores here. So it, it is labeled, whether you see it in the display case or whether you see it packaged, it will say it comes from Vietnam big industry says there's no record of uh, this information no record of auditing the man who runs this place at another tilapia farm which borders Hong Kong Mr. Chen feeds fish partly with feces from hundreds of pigs and geese that practice is dangerous for American consumers the manure the Chinese use to feed fish is frequently contaminated with microbes like salmonella. On a sweltering overcast day in August, the smell of excrement, excrement is overpowering. After seeing dead fish on the surface, Chen, 45, wades barefoot into his murky pool to open a pipe that adds fresh water from a nearby canal. Exporters buy his fish to sell to U.S. companies. Mr. Shui Khan I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Chairman of a government-sponsored Tilapia Aquaculture Association in Linjiang, 200 kilometers from Yangjing, Yangjing, I'm, I'm terrible at, at Asian languages, says he discourages using feces as food, surprisingly enough, because it contaminates water and makes fish more susceptible to diseases. He says a growing number of Gongdong farmers adopt that practice anyway because of fierce competition. 27% of the seafood Americans eat come from China. 27% of the seafood Americans eat comes from China. And the shipments that the FDA checks are frequently contaminated. The agency inspects only about 2.7% of imported food. Remember that we're trying to reduce regulations in order to promote jobs. Okay, just remember that. The FDA, which, which, as an aside here, bottled water is a food product. Shrimp and fish is a food product. The FDA doesn't have enough inspectors to run around checking things. Out of 100% that arrives here, 2.7% is checked, and 27% of that is contaminated. This should raise alarms and bells and whistles and red flags and all sorts of things to you. FDA inspectors have rejected 1,380 loads of seafood from Vietnam since 2007 for filth and salmonella, including 81 from Mr. Sin. The FDA has rejected 820 Chinese seafood, seafood shipments since 2007, including 187 that contained tilapia. That's 20%. 21%. I'm, I'm including this link. I'm including this link because it's 
we have to worry about mercury here. We got the gulf that's poisoned a bunch of fish here. And uh, the shrimp industry is not recovering from the oil spills. They're, they're just found more oil and tar balls that washed up on the Gulf Shore that comes directly from the, the Gulf oil spill. We don't know anything about the millions of pounds of contam uh, dispersants that were put on this spill, but yet one side, the GOP says we're looking for energy independence. And where's that going to come from? Drill, baby, drill. Because solar's off the table, but they're still considering nuclear. These are the things that people like Happy Cabby and my friend from high school and my, my parents don't think is a big deal. I do. I'm Chunks of Earth and so are you. Have a great day.